Hi friends, SEBI categorized mutual funds into these five types equity schemes, debt schemes, hybrid schemes, solution oriented schemes, other schemes. And equity schemes are further classified into 12 types. Present video is about ninth one value fund. There are three commonly used mutual fund investment strategies adopted by a fund manager value strategy growth strategy contract strategy if a value strategy is used by the fund manager to create a fund portfolio then those funds are known as value funds if a growth investment strategy is adopted by the fund manager then those funds are known as growth funds if contract strategy is applied by the fund manager then those funds are known as contra funds in present video we will explore value funds and we will talk some important aspects of these funds let us take one example to know the meaning of value fund one asset management company launched value fund schemes and company collected corpus from investors fund manager of amc must invest the maximum portion of corpus that is minimum 65 percent of corpus in value stocks of public limited companies remaining 35 percent he may invest in other stocks now the question is what is the meaning of value stocks if market price of stock is less than its intrinsic value that stock is known as value stock here you know the meaning of market price current trading price is known as market price now what is the meaning of intrinsic value intrinsic value means fair value or actual value of one share it is evaluated by the fund manager by considering some factors like company's revenue earnings growth business model competitive position efficiency of the management and so on for example there is one public limited company known as abc limited so based on these factors fund manager calculated its intrinsic value of one share that is 500 so one share market price should be 500 rupees but due to some reasons present market price of one share is 300 rupees only so market price of a stock is less than its intrinsic value therefore the stocks of abc limited are known as value stocks now the fund manager considers these stocks to create a portfolio for value fund here abc limited stocks are undervalued means available at a discount price so available at cheaper rates what are the reasons for undervaluation of a company stocks bear phase generally in bear markets investors do not show interest to purchase company shares so they are interested in selling the shares so as there is no demand for company shares even though it is a good company its market price may decrease and other reasons for undervaluation of stocks are changing investor preferences poor earnings report hard timings in the industry over reaction to bad news etc based on some techniques fund manager identifies undervalued stocks and he includes them in value fund portfolio here is a list of those techniques pause the video and you can go through with them then let us see how a value fund works with the help of one example we will understand how a value fund works there are two public limited companies a and b present intrinsic value of one share of a is 10000 rupees 
and in case of b it is 8000 rupees and present market value of one share is 11000 3000 suppose your fund portfolio is containing companies like a as a market price of one share is more nav of one mutual fund is also high in case of b as a market price of one share is less if you want to buy a fund unit which contains companies like b then one unit nav will be less observe here intrinsic value and market value of a company a are almost same but in case of b market value of one share is less than its intrinsic value therefore the stocks of company b are known as value stocks so while creating a portfolio in case of value fund fund manager prefers to invest in the stocks of company b generally b company stocks are ignored by the market but the assumption of fund manager is when a huge amount is invested in value fund which contains the companies like b then other investors in the market slowly they will come to understand the demand for company b shares then they begin to invest in same companies as their market value increases because demand is increasing and when market value increases as a result of that one fund unit NAV also increases thus the fund investor is availing the mutual funds at a lower NAVs when demand increases for these company stocks when NAV is more the fund investors can redeem them by taking higher profits on the other hand take a company stocks if you want to purchase a fund unit which contains companies like a you have to acquire those fund units by paying higher navs as its market price is already reached to a higher level even though there is bull market even though market conditions are favorable you cannot expect much increase in market price of one share when market price doesn't increase much you cannot expect a high increase in nav so value fund works on this strategy let us know some more important points regarding this fund when amc launches value fund and the colored scopus from investors then maximum portion of copers will be invested in value stock companies value stocks are high dividend yielding stocks because these companies possess some good qualities like good earnings competitiveness efficient management and a good business model so the companies with these qualities generally pay regular dividends to their shareholders therefore the mutual fund investors who invested their money in this type of companies also can get regular returns from the fund therefore these funds are suitable to retired people who expect regular income second point is value funds are less volatile in case of value funds the maximum portion of copers is invested by amc in value stocks companies the main feature of these companies is their undervaluation of market value of one share when market value is less investors will get fund units at lesser navs when market is underperforming in other words in case of bear situations as a market value of one share is already decreased it doesn't much decrease further so as a result of that one mutual fund nav also doesn't decrease much thus these funds are less volatile risk is moderate 
therefore it is advisable it is recommended to invest 20 to 25 percent of your portfolio in value funds last point is it is difficult to evaluate the correct intrinsic value of stocks for example one fund manager expected company b's one share intrinsic value as 8000 rupees and at present market value of one share is 3000 rupees as market price is less than intrinsic value the stocks of company b come under value stocks and the fund manager creates a portfolio with the companies like b and his assumption is when amc invests maximum corpus in these type of company stocks then other investors find this demand and they also start investing in the same companies resulting an increase in demand market price of this company stocks when market price increases one unit nav also increases so investor of a mutual funds can redeem his units at a higher nav by getting more capital gains so these are the assumptions now but there is no universally accepted method to evaluate one share intrinsic value suppose you are an investor and you are given a task to 10 different fund managers task is to evaluate the intrinsic value of one share of company b so you may get 10 different results from them thus if intrinsic value of one company share is not evaluated properly and the assumption of undervaluation of company b's stock is not correct in that case even though amc invests maximum portion of corpus in the companies like b other investors don't care these companies in that case you cannot expect any increase in market price of these companies and as there is no increase in market price you cannot expect any increase in nav of one mutual fund unit in that case your fund doesn't perform well and as an investor you have to face losses so remember if you are a moderate risk taker and if you are ready to stay invested for a long period at least five years then you can think about these funds so this is all about this topic hope this information is useful to you thank you